there's one truth in the world, it's that beauty is power. And I happen to be the prettiest girl in school. Everywhere I go, I feel all eyes on me. Guys want to be with me, and girls want to be me. Every day I am reminded that the world revolves around those with looks. People might not always admit it, but deep down they all know it's true. Beauty opens doors, and I've been able to experience things that others could only dream of. Being beautiful is everything to me, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Mary enters the bathroom to touch up her makeup. The empty room offered a brief reprieve from all the attention she's been getting. She stood in front of the mirror, admiring her own beauty. As she examined her face, there was something amiss. She noticed a small blemish on her otherwise perfect skin. She leaned in closer for a better look and saw that it was a pimple. Outrageous! Mary couldn't believe that something so hideous could mar her perfect complexion. She reached out to squish the spot, but as she did, it screamed. Mary was taken aback. Surely the spot didn't just make a sound, did it? She looked again and saw something that defied reason. For a moment, she thought she must have been dreaming, but it was unmistakable that the spot had a face of its own. It was a tiny, grotesque thing that wore a leery smile. The face began to sing a mocking rhyme. Pretty Mary, so fair, so bright, but her skin's not perfect, try as she might. A spot on her face, oh what a sight, but there's nothing she can do to make it right. Mary was horrified. What is this disgusting? She pressed against the pimple in an attempt to squish it from her face. It giggled as it tried to resist the pressure. The gleeful sound sent chills down Mary's spine, but she continued to push on hard. Finally, with a satisfying pop, Mary squished the creature for good. She wiped the remains off her hand and quickly left the bathroom. As the teacher joined on about the day's lesson, Mary's mind wandered back to the horrifying thing she had seen in the bathroom. I must be tripping or something. This kind of thing just doesn't happen. Maybe someone slipped something into my drink when I wasn't looking. That must be it. Clearly someone is jealous of me and decided to play this prank to make me look bad. Well, they won't be getting the better of me. Once the effect wear off, I'll make them pay. Mary's musing was interrupted when the teacher called for everyone's attention. He was introducing a new student joining their class. The girl stood up and introduced herself as Emily, a transfer student that was new in town. Mary noticed that she too is quite pretty and she could feel the excitement from the boys around her. As Emily spoke, Mary's attention was caught by another classmate who was signaling to her, pointing to her face. You have something on your face. Mary flipped open her pocket mirror to inspect it and saw another spot on her face. It was a shocking discovery. As she inspected closer, the spot wiggled and just like the first incident, a face pushed its way out from under the paws. But this time, she noticed something else unsettling about the spot. Not only did it have a face, but it shared a resemblance to the new student, Emily. She tried to hide her surprise and suppress a scream. The spot resembling Emily began to sing a creepy rhyme. Pretty Mary, once so fair, your beauty was beyond compare. But now a spot has come to light and tarnished all your radiance bright. Mary was just as horrified by the imperfection on her skin as finding a tiny face attached to her. It was inconceivable that someone of her stature could be blighted by such a hideous mark. She discreetly tried to squish the spot, hoping no one would notice. Gradually, Mary applied more force on the pimple, but it just squealed in the light. Anxious about drawing attention to her, Mary kept on squeezing. Almost there. Keep going. Mary dug her thumbs deep into the spot, 
it burst open. But as it did, something terrible happened. The head of the new student, Emily, suddenly exploded. Gore shot everywhere and splattered all over the room. The class erupted in chaos, with students screaming and running for the door. Sat frozen in her seat, Mary was unable to move nor comprehend what just happened. It, it must have been a coincidence, right? The horrific revelation hit her. Somehow, popping the pimple on her face also led to the same fate for those the spot resembled. Sitting in her room, Mary couldn't get the day's event out of her head. She just continued to stare at her own reflection in the mirror. The horror of what happened weighed heavy on her and she felt a bit of responsibility for what happened to Emily. What happened to Emily? Was it my fault? But I didn't do anything. Cleaning my face isn't a crime. People do it all the time. There's no way that can be connected to what happened today. Even so, my beauty is important and I have to do everything to keep myself perfect. Life isn't worth living if I am not. As she finished the thought, she heard a soft popping sound, prickle close to her ear. Her eyes flicked quickly to the mirror, and her worst fears were realized. More and more pops erupted around her, and in the blink of an eye, Mary's beautiful face was suddenly crowded out by a dozen tiny faces, all grinning gleefully at her. More disturbingly though, is the realization that they all resembled her classmates. All of them were there. They all erupted in a chorus. Your beauty once a shining star, now tarnished by those spots bizarre. No one wants to look your way. Your once bright light has gone astray. Mary was paralyzed by what she should do. The faces were all of her classmates. Popping them would surely result in all her friends consigned to the same fate as Emily. On the other hand, could she live with such a wretched face? She had always been beautiful. Was that sacrifice worth it? No, I can never be the ugly one. In a frenzy, Mary began to pop all the spots. She didn't care about the consequences. She just wanted to be beautiful. One by one, each pimple burst open, their pus splattering against the mirror. Mary's mind was made up. The next day, Mary returned to school with her beautiful face back to what it was before. Everyone resumed glancing at her in the halls and complimented her as she passed. She basked in the glow of their attention. How wonderful to be back to my perfect self again. Normally, all these hangers-on would have annoyed me. I never thought I'd be so happy with them clinging on to me like this. She settled into her seat, ready for class to begin, but she noticed that no one else had turned up. There was an eerie silence about the once lively room, but Mary tried to tell herself that everyone was just running late or ill. At that moment, Mary then noticed a quiet voice calling to her. Mary, Mary. She looked down and to her horror, she saw a new spot emerge on her face. No, it can't. The spot grinned at her. This time, the spot resembled Mary herself. Her face was the prettiest of all the ones that came before, yet filled her with the most dread. It taunted her. Oh Mary, dear Mary, so vain, so vain. You'll do anything to rid your face of that stain. You'll pop and you'll squeeze with all your might, just to keep your face shining bright. But oh how the tables have turned, your looks once so envied, now scorned. You'll go to great lengths to keep your face, but now it's all just a futile race. Mary felt trapped, 
and hesitated about her next move. What do I do? I can't go through with it. Everything that I ever wanted will be gone with a face like this. The spot resembling Mary was crackling with excitement. It relished the turmoil that was showing on its host. Mary lifted her hand slowly to the boil and pressed a finger to it. She pushed against it with agonizing pain. A loud explosion echoed down the empty room, followed by a deafening silence. These walls have once seen a beauty so rare, now houses a story of a perfect nightmare.